What's going on everybody? Welcome back. This is the Blind Fish Keeper. My name is Brandon and I am a 100% blind aquariist. I keep a bunch of tanks and a couple of tubs out in the backyard. I do most of it with zero help from sighted people. If you'd like to follow along on my journey, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also leave me a comment. I love talking to everybody, answering questions. No question is out of bounds. So uh, hit me up. Today I'm gonna do a little video of how I make my rapashi food. I do it uh, as a blind person with uh, very little help. All right, everybody, I am gonna show you today how I prepare my rapashi food. So first thing we're gonna need is the rapashi. Um, I've got Community Plus, Soylent Green, and Bottom Scratcher. You can make these however you choose to make them. Uh, one recipe or blend them all together and make them. There's only one rule with Rapashi and that is uh, two to one. Two parts water to one part powder and you can never go wrong. You don't have to worry about proper measurements. Just remember if you put twice as much water to whatever amount of powder you're using, you'll be golden. So what I'm using today are these three. Um, so I've got my uh, measuring glass pitcher of water here. Uh, just pop it in the microwave and I'm gonna do it for five minutes. Um, you really want the water to be boiling. The hotter it is, the better the result is gonna be uh, when it's time to mix everything together. So I'm gonna get this started and we will get back to you in a second. So I wanted to show you real quick before I pull the water out how I use my microwave. I've got these little bump dots in strategic places that tell me certain things, right? So this one down here is my stop clear button and I know by the type of bump dot that it is. Right above it is a different feeling bump dot and that's on the start button. Right above this, this little teeny tiny bump dot right here is the, um, it's like a one minute button. And then straight over from that one, I think this is actually the one. And then there should be one down from that one, another small one that's a five. And from there, I can find the numbers to operate the microwave uh, for what I need it to do. So we've got the, my water is done and extremely hot. And just a word of warning to anybody that's making rapashi for the first time. This stuff smells so good. You're gonna wanna do it in the room where all of your family's hanging out. I'm kidding, this is some of the worst smelling stuff on the planet. So we're gonna add our water to the pot. And again, it's two parts water to one part the powder all right so after you get the water in to the rapashi go kind of quick with it because you don't want it to start setting up this is just like making jello and you want to get it blended in real good and mix together before it starts setting up too hard. Excuse me, Holly. And then we get our little tray, whatever we're gonna pour it out into to get it to set up. 
and solidify like jello. And we're just gonna pour it out into that. don't have to be near as messy as me unfortunately being blind my fingers are my eyes so lay it out as thick or thin as you want and then just set it aside and it will turn into jello um, some people will do different things with their apache such as like uh, dipping a like a rock or something in it and then letting it set up around the rock and then you can add it to your fish tank. So this is gonna take a little bit to set up and uh, after it's done setting up, we'll come back and I will show you how to finish it up. It has actually been a couple of days since I put the Rapache in the fridge to set up and I did not film getting it out of the fridge and slicing it up. Uh, I actually had a little bit of help from someone that could see um, so here's what I've done, and it's on this cookie sheet. Rapashi's good for a couple of months uh, if you freeze it and just put it in a Ziploc bag or in a Tupperware and hold it. Um, so what I do is I cut it out since I make such a large batch at a time. Again, this is only one cup's worth. And I will uh, have it sliced up and then we'll spread it out on some parchment paper on a cookie sheet and stick it in the freezer for an hour or so and uh, come back and get it all put into a Tupperware. All right, I'm here in front of the guppy tank and I've got a little bit of this Rapache set aside that did not go in the fridge because I am going to feed it out fresh today. And uh, so here we go see how the guppies and shrimp like that. Here we are in front of the rainbow tank. We'll drop a few of these pieces in and see what these guys make of it. The rapache will cloud the water a little bit but it will filter through. This isn't a food that you feed every day. Have these guys found it? Oh yeah your bottom feeders will love it. All right, and let's drop a square in here to the angel tank. I don't know that they'll actually go after it yet. Okay, so I just got a little bit of this left. I'm just gonna throw the rest of it out into the ponds here. The goldfish love the rapache. I do feed them rapache quite a bit, so. Just kind of throw it out in random spots for them. And they'll find it and nibble it all down. We'll go over and drop these last two little cubes in the live bear pond. So all the rapache has been dropped in all of the places I'm going to feed it. If you'd like to see how the fish react to the rapache, you'll have to go check me out on Instagram. All of the feeding is going to be on my Instagram feed. That's the blind fish keeper. So go check it out. It has been, I don't know, a little over an hour. I don't know that these are completely frozen all the way through, but they're frozen enough so that they won't stick together. So now I'm just gonna get them off the parchment and into some 
freezer bags and in the freezer. Rapeshi. Done the BFK way. Alright. So I've come back to the guppy tank and we're just gonna close the video out today with a shot of the cherry shrimp going to town on the Rapeshi. As always guys, please take care of yourselves out there and I will catch you in the next one. <laughs>